But I came across a story uh, that it's sort of uh, symbolic of, of you know, the complication in, in the world today and, and how, uh, how uh, things can unfold in a very strange way. And it, uh, I read it recently in a, in, a, in a southern newspaper. It took place in actually North Carolina. A lawyer bought a, ba a box of cigars and then insured them uh, for, among other things, fire. Uh, within a month, he smoked them all. Uh, and he filed a claim against the insurance company. Uh, this is a true story. It was in the newspaper, didn't he? The, the claim the lawyer stated the cigars were lost in a series of small fires. <laughs> insurance company refused to pay, of course, and they cited the obvious reason uh, that the man had obviously consumed the cigars in a normal fashion. The lawyer sued them and won. Right? The judge agreed that the insurance, with the insurance company that the claim was frivolous. He stated, nevertheless, that the lawyer had a had held, policy, held the policy from the company in which it had warranted that the cigars were insurable and also guaranteed that it would insure them against fire without defining what he considered to be an unacceptable fire versus an acceptable fire. Rather than endure a long process uh, 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 which would have been costly uh, to take an appeal, the insurance company accepted the ruling, paid $15,000 to the lawyer uh, for the loss of his cigars. Now that alone is an odd story, but the end of the story is even more odd. After the lawyer cashed the check, the insurance company had him arrested on 24 counts of arson. <laughs> With his own insurance claim in hand and testimony from the previous case being sued against him, the lawyer was convicted of intentionally burning the insured property and was sentenced, no kidding, to 24 months in jail and a $24,000 fine. <laughs> <clears throat>